in the last lesson, we created an app that retrieved an image from a URL and displayed it in our image view. Now, sometimes when you're developing on Android, you can find out if there's a library that simplifies what you want to do. So sometimes someone might see a pain point in development and develop a library with source code to help you perform that operation. So all you would need to do is download that library and call the library so that you don't have to write all the code all over again. Downloading a library will save you the stress of having to write the code to perform some operations. Because we want to load images, we are going to use Glide. So Glide is an image loading and caching library for Android. You can always find libraries by searching and checking the GitHub page. If I googled Glide or image loading library for Android, you would see options. When you come to the library, you might get confused on how do I use this library. Normally, you might see a download portion and you will see Grado or Marvin. Sometimes you might see only Grado. For me to use this library, all I need to do is copy this dependencies, go to my Android app. Now I'm going to go to my app level build.grado. The build.grado that you see, Moodle app, not the project. And then I come over here and paste it. After pasting, next thing I should have this stated in my repositories tag. Let me go here and check the project. We can see repositories. Google and J Center. So let me add Marvin Central. That's fine. Then I can sync. When you're syncing, you would need a good internet connection for it to download the code. So once it's done, we can now use Glide. So let's shorten this. Firstly, I can remove this. I can also remove this. Can also remove this. And so to use Glide, all I'll need to do is to say, Glide with I'll pass in the activity. This is where I'll pass in the URL. So after loading, I'm loading it into what? Into the image view. And that's it. That's all I needed to do with Glide. So you see how we have shortened our code with libraries. We don't need to have an async task to do this. You can see that our activity loaded the image just like it did before. But we didn't have to have all those lines of code. So this is how you use libraries to simplify your life. There are many more libraries you'll come across on Android. There's another library called Picasso which also helps to load images. So in Android, there are a lot of good libraries that help you perform some operations. In our next lesson, we're going to be treating databases. When you have an application, you need to store information.